What's up everyone and welcome to Huntographer's final episode of our Kansas 22 hunting trip. I'm going to do this episode a little bit different than I typically do. I usually don't do a whole lot of narrating, uh, but I want to be able to tell this story uh, because I think it's a special one. Um, not only because I killed a really nice deer, the biggest deer of my life, um, but because this is a special deer season. If you've watched my previous hunting episodes, you know that my dad is my number one hunting buddy. And over the summer, he got to feeling really bad. Um, he got really, really sick. And uh, we just couldn't get a, a formal diagnosis for him. Um, and, and honestly, the way he was going, it didn't seem like uh, he would be around for this deer season. Um, but luckily, we were able to get a diagnosis. Um, he had a really rare form of lymphoma. Um, and that, that treatment plan was going to require chemotherapy and a stem cell transplant. So we calculated out the, the course of the chemotherapy and it looked like he might be able to make it to Kansas. We weren't really sure, uh, but he tolerated chemo like a champ and uh, we were able to get him out to Kansas. So it was just a really special time for us um, to get out there as a family, have my brother come up for the first time and, uh, and just enjoy the outdoors together and killing a buck was only a bonus to the trip and so we were just really fortunate to be able to get out there and we uh we just enjoyed our time together but the other part of the story is that we were able to as a family take the first deer off of our own property in kansas and this is a deer that we've had three years of experience with uh, we named him sticker buck after this sticker point right here um, and it was just a huge bonus. He ended up scoring um, 166 and a half and just a really, really nice deer. And I'm so blessed to have had the opportunity to a deer of this caliber with my bow. So the story of Sticker starts back in 2020. Um, we got this land back in 2019. Um, the first year we were able to hunt it was 2020 and dad went up um, by himself that year uh, because i was in the hospital um, battling covid and so he had multiple encounters with uh, sticker at that point he was a mainframe eight pointer um, we think he was probably two and a half to three at that at that time and um, dad felt that he was going to turn into something special so check out this footage of sticker buck from uh, 2020. So as you can see, um, he was a young deer, uh, mainframe eight pointer, and definitely not the most mature deer. You saw that 10 pointer came in, kind of bullied him around a little bit. So we were optimistic to see what he turned into in, in 2021. And um, 
I tagged out on my first evening hunt and became a cameraman in 2021. So I went and sat on the ground one evening and had my first encounter with Sticker Buck. Um, he came in following a doe and uh, check out this footage here. All right, it's another day in Kansas. It is November 5th and I came over to our Kansas 114. Um, so I'm just filming this afternoon. I'm set up on a couple feeders that we have out over here. We've been getting several pictures of uh, decent bucks. Uh, we'll see what the afternoon brings and hopefully we have some good luck. So again, he turned into a nice deer. He uh, grew a sticker point, which earned him his name. Uh, he also had one other extra little point coming off one of his G3s. Um, he was just a really nice deer and lucky for him, I had already tagged out, so he got the walk that year. Again, wasn't the dominant buck. That 11 pointer muscled up against him and kind of pushed him out. And uh, you know, so it was, it was exciting to know that he was still around um, and we were really, uh, optimistic that he would be there the following year and so fast forward to the summer of uh, 2022 dad wasn't feeling well so I hiked it up to Kansas started getting things prepared was driving around one evening right before dark and I was able to lay my eyes on sticker buck and velvet and man what a sight um, so check this out So the anticipation started, we were waiting for November. Um, we got up to Kansas on November 7th, uh, went and scouted the area that I'd seen sticker buck and sure enough, um, a lot of pawns, a lot of rub trees and I knew I needed to get a stand in there. So hung a stand and waited for the right wind and that takes us to November 11th. So let's see what happens.
So as I was watching two does, um, I looked up and there was another doe headed straight for me and about 20 steps behind her, there he was. He was coming right for me and he came in, I drew back and as I drew, my arrow popped off the string and the doe that he was following got a little skittish. Uh, but fortunately, he, he knew nothing was going on and he just kind of stayed right there, started to feed around a little bit um, and he stood broadside. Uh, for what felt like an eternity, um, but he was right behind some limbs. Um, it doesn't look like it in, in the video, but from, from my angle, um, I couldn't get a shot through those limbs. And so he was there, he was there, he was there. And as that doe he was with got more skittish, she started moving towards the field. And I'm thinking, man, he's gonna just come right through this little spot. I'm gonna have a wide open shot at 12 yards, and this is gonna be money. Well, of course it didn't play out that way. Um, as she started to go towards the field, he looked up and went into full stride and I tried to stop him. I drew back, fired and nailed him in the back leg. And I was sick to my stomach, but as I saw him run, I could just see blood pouring. So I knew that I had hit that femoral artery um, and luckily um, he died quickly and uh, with insight and so, I called mom and dad and we, we got together and the rest is history. There's his antlers. Shot him. Right there, so he didn't go 50 yards. That was an interesting afternoon. I picked this spot back in August when I came here. I saw that buck um, in velvet, just probably 150 yards from where I'm sitting right now, and found this little area and thought that it's the perfect cruising spot for deer. And he came in exactly how I envisioned, um, came right up this little draw, came out into this little path. He is laying dead 30 yards from me right now. And I'm grateful. Um, I must have hit the artery. He died quickly. And um, I'm super excited uh, to have this deer on the ground. Um, you don't know how much this season means to me to have my dad up here, to have my brother just come up here and visit and hunt for the first time in Kansas for a couple days. And you know, it's just it's just a, an amazing thing. I can't thank God enough. I can't thank my wife for letting me come up here and Gigi and Papa K for watching the girls while I'm up here and Carolyn works. So I just am so grateful for this family. Um, so we'll get down here shortly and uh, we'll put our hands on it. And uh, so we'll see you in a little bit. Thumbs up. Way to go, Pop. Way to go, Pop. Are you ready to go see some deer, yes, antlers? Yes, sir, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, way to knock him Woo. down. That's awesome. That's right. awesome. Let's go find him. The plan come together. Yep. You called it. You called it. You done it. Yep. That is awesome, man. Let's go see him. Okay. Okay. All right. See him? See his antler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, man.
Look at that, man. Not broke. Nope. Holy. Can you hold on? This is a giant. That's what you go to Kansas for? That's what you go to Kansas for, right there. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. All the girls want to see it. Yeah, I just FaceTimed them just in case they were going to bed so they could see it. I mean, that's just a giant. All right. All right. Thank you. Love you. Love <laughs> you. Bye. Mm. Hey. Oh, you yeah, awesome. Oh, man. Just a, I love them brows. I know he's Brown. got long time. Those those G2s, yeah. man. The brows and the G2s, just, and even just, the G3s. I mean, dang. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what he scores, he's no. free. But I think he's going to score pretty high. Right? Mm. Dang. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you and come to you with a thankful heart. Not for just this dear, but the time we were able to spend as a family, as another day to just enjoy your creations, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for all the memories, the blessings that you have given us throughout the year. We just we just love your animals. We love chasing them. And we thank you for the opportunity that you have given us. Thank you for this, this animal. Thank you for allowing us to come to Kansas and just enjoy the sunsets, the sunrises, the cold, the wind. We just thank you, dear Heavenly Father. And we know there's always going to be some bumps in the road. Things don't always go the way we want them to go. But we realize that you have a plan. And we got to have faith in your plan. Thank you again, dear Heavenly Father, for all that you've done for us. For me, as a family. Thank you for my family. Thank you for this son. Thank you for Travis. I love you both of them so much dear Heavenly Father in the time that we've been able to spend thank you for my wife Pam you gave me to her so many years ago and she is such a good mom a good wife and a good grandmother thank you again for everything that you do for me every day we ask this in the great in the holy name of your son Jesus Christ amen amen Yep. You never know. Oh yeah. Watching you hang that stand the other day. I told your mom, I said, he's got a plan and he knows what he's wanting to do. And I said, maybe somewhere down the road I I taught him a little something. But you did it, brother. Yep. You did it. Never Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought. I really did. I, you know, you had your plan, and I've always been down there. That's just awesome. Totally awesome. Well, we're here in Kansas. We're on Remember Wind Farms. It's November 12th, 2022. My mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Yesterday, I connected with this awesome deer we've had some history with this deer my dad saw this deer the very first year we had this property and thought he would turn into something special he was probably three year old then and we got some video of him from 2020 
And then last year, I filmed him one evening after I had tagged out. He was chasing a doe and he was uh, coming in after a big 11 pointer one evening. And he got the walk last year and then this year, uh, came up here in August and I laid my eyes on him in velvet and I said I need to get a stand in that area. So fast forward to November, um, came up here with mom and dad uh, and got a stand up, went and scouted the area, found some fresh rub trees, a couple pollens, found a good tree to put a stand in and waited for the right wind. Went in there that morning, um, got a trail camera picture. He had been in there at 5.45, about 30 minutes before daylight. Um, and actually, my dad and Travis saw him that morning um, cruising. So then later on, uh, that afternoon, I went in about two o'clock and a couple does came in as you saw and another doe came in and he was right behind her. And luckily I was able to get him on the ground. Um, the shot wasn't great, but he died quickly um, and died within 30 yards of where I shot him. So we got him cleaned up, got him out here for some pictures today and he is just a beautiful animal. Uh, my biggest buck to date for sure. And I just wanna thank the good Lord for all his blessings. Um, this year has been something special. Things don't always go to plan, but he always has the plan that he wants. And I think we just need to remember that sometimes. And I'm glad that I was able to get out here this year. I'm glad that dad was able to get out here this year. And I'm glad that mom was able to come out here with us. I'm also super excited that Travis was able to come out here and witness Kansas for the first time. We love this place for deer hunting. And I'm glad he got to see some big Kansas bucks. I just want to thank my wife and little girls for, again, allowing me to do this thing that we call hunting. Um, I want to thank Gigi and Papa K for helping us out with the girls. And all my buddies that, you know, watch these hunting videos. I hope y'all enjoy them. I enjoy sharing them. And uh, I sure do enjoy this sport. Thank y'all very much. And uh, we'll see you next year in Kansas. But it would happen, but it did, and we are so thankful.